As I stated earlier, to be sustainable, transparent, whatever term you want to use, we start with environmental risk management. A very basic example is when you talk to a business on how do you purchase a raw materials, the majority of the time they're going to tell you they purchase a raw materials FOB point of shipment. Why? Because it's cheaper. So you say, well, manufacturer, you just purchase some lubricants for your presses and you purchase the lubricants FOB point of shipment and in route there's an accident. What's your strategy to deal with the environmental exposure? Well, that's usually when you get the deer in the headlight look, you know. That's not my problem, is it? Well, yes, it is your problem because you bought the lubricants FOB point of shipment. So when they left the loading dock in route to you, you own them and are responsible should they cause an environmental loss. Through environmental risk management, environmental strategists have four ways a business can deal with that. First, stop buying the raw material FOB point of shipment. Start buying them FOB point of delivery. Number two, working with your team member, the attorney, have them draw up a contract to transfer that liability to the transporter until your product is delivered and offloaded. Thirdly, deal only with transporters that are carrying auto pollution liability insurance. Or fourth, a business can purchase transportation pollution liability insurance that protects them while third parties are transporting their goods. Client, what would you like to do? Through environmental risk management, the environmental strategist has educated and offered options for their client to decide how they would like to run their business, and that's really what businesses are looking to do. Take control of their environmental exposures. Empowering a business to control their environmental exposures makes the environmental strategist a trusted advisor, strategic partner, team member, and indispensable.